Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Indigo Chapter 2. In the previous episode, we got this awesome sword. We did, rescued the the um, the shop dude's wife from the field. Got a couple other things too with Lena City. So now we're in this, um, what is this place called again? Let's go out and go back in so we can get the title of the dungeon. At least I'm assuming this is a dungeon. It feels like it in the abandoned fishing village. Abandoned shipyard. That's where we were. And this is the Dread Captain's flagship. Whoops. Take that out. And that one. Just like that. Alright, so over here, it looks like we have two crystal switches. Oh, you had to hit them both at the same time. Okay. So, two different directions we can go here. Aha. Blades and arrows will bounce off. Heavy weapons. Wait a minute. Or explosives. Okay. Bye-bye. That's not very efficient, is it? Huh. What is this? Oh, it's like a cannonball kind of thing. He has a key. All right. So it's kind of heavy, so you walk a little slow. Interesting. Interesting mechanic there, since we don't have a heavy weapon yet. That's our heavy weapon. We can go a couple ways here. Uh, let's go through here first, I guess. Uh, I hear a spooker. Hi. I guess that's a uh, web. Oops. I walked around the ladder. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Up and away. Another locked door. Okay. Not helpful, but good to know that's there. So I guess just go through this other door that's in here. Another web with a chest. I'm imagining we'll have a way to burn those down soon. Silver rupees. Hey, yay. So we got one, two. Three. Whoa! Soul, are you alright? You just took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Oldest meme in the book. Yes, I'm okay. I'm still an adventurer. Oh, we have traps now, I see. Huh. Can we bomb this? <laughs> it's an arrow sticking out of my knee! Yo, what the heck? I just noticed that. That was gone. Wow. Okay. That was pretty hilarious, actually. And they don't shoot anymore, so it's a one-time trap thing. Okay. Um. Kind of confused as to what to do here now, because... Got a mysterious... Can't... Bomb it, can't do that. Hmm. All right. Uh, what do we do? Whatever are we supposed to do? Um. Hmm. Was there anything back in this room we missed? Ooh, double shot. So we got the key from. The oh, I th I think I understand something I might be able to do here. We can take this into the other room. Cause that's a slidey door. And burn down this web. Right? 
Yeah, so maybe this is a key. Yes, it is. All right, so that solves that. So now we can go back in this room, climb the ladder, and go through the locked door. Or something along those lines. Oh, the spider stayed dead. That's a uh, surprising. Usually enemies like that come back when you go in and out. Nice touch. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see cannons. It's an eye switch. Can we shoot through this? I'm actually very curious. Can we? Yes, we can. All right. And I hear a scritchy, scratchy purple, purple spider. Scooter. Cannon. Hmm. And a cannon ball freshly prepared for us. So can we put this in the cannon and then uh, fire it? And if we throw it, it's not gonna. Oh, did it go in? Oh, look at that. But we don't have a way to light it right now, but I feel like we will in a minute with that torch. So let's see what's through here. I hear something. Whoa. I hear you. Right behind there. Oh. That's... You can roll through that. Thirteen. Ooh. Badly hurt. That's a nice little hidden spot there. So what's, um... What's down here? Don't know if I want to know just yet. There's a key door. We came in there. Claustrophobia. Oh, this is just lead around to the other side where I just was. Okay. So it's like, how did you get in here? Well, I figured it out before I went this way. So that's closed. That's key door. Let's go, go down here. Oh, snap. Um, water? Okay. So what are we, under the boat now? Or climb back in, I guess. Whoa, what? What is that? Yo! Some more weird water creature. Get out. Get off. That scared the poop out of me. I don't like things that I can't see in the water dragging me down. That's just like a major fear. All right, so we got a small key. Um, how are we going to get up that ladder, though? That's a problem. Oh. Duh. Sheesh. Still, uh, still unnerved by that. It's terrifying. I hear squitchies. Hello. 14. Nice. Oh, and then we're back out in uh, this room. I mean, or ignore, ignore you guys for now, because we already took care of you. Now we can go back in here, climb up and over and through the key door, right? Something along those lines. I like this dungeon, so I like, I like the atmosphere. The greenish, bluish tinge. All right, so this door. Wait, was there a... Uh... Oh, it looked like there was a little pathway there to the right. But not. Oh. What'd that do? Huh. So another uh, switch like that. Hmm. Kind of concerned. Um. Oh, did that open something down here so I can get back up easily? I guess we'll find out. Okay, yeah, that opened that uh, cage door. Oh, there's one. A little bit of crackling going on here. I still don't understand that. So now I can get back up that way easily. Nice. All right, so I guess we'll uh, tightrope across here. Sweet. Ooh, coins. 
I have more important things to worry about, though. Hmm. So how are we supposed to deal with that? Stop crackling on me. What are we looking at here? Stop that. So how the heck are we supposed to hit both of those switches at the same time? Can we like skim our arrow across the two of them or what? No, not really. Oh wow. <laughs> I just surprised I was able to do that. That was a quick shot. All right, so now we have torch capabilities. So that's right, we can go back in here. Wait, no. Wait a minute. There was a web in here, right? This room had a web, didn't it? Yeah, over there. Let's light them up. We can get back up easily, so. So there's one. Two. Go away. No arrows to the knee this time. Three. Can we get all five? Might be able to, actually. It's a possibility. Four. And where's the last one? Where are you? Oh, you're around here somewhere. Maybe we can't get all five. I was dreaming. It's a possibility. Oh yeah, no, the other one's uh, behind that thing down there. Hmm. Okay. So no, we can't get all five yet. But we have a torch here now, which has got to, whoops, account for something. Um. Hold on a minute. Figuring this out. Brain is uh, brain's working here. So where was the cannon at? Can we? Ooh. It was over here. So I think we can get that torch through here, right? That's not that far. Theoretically. And I wish we still walked fast with um, our torch out. Yeah, this should be doable. Yeah. Now we can use the cannon. Can't wait to see how this goes. Oop, I guess we gotta put it in the right way. Can't put it in the back. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna be so cool. Whoa! That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. Cannons. Who knew, right? It's the little things. I hear a Scardita screechy. Where are you? Where are you hiding at? Must be like right above us. All right, so I, I feel like we're gonna get something heavy soon, like the, ha the hammer, because we're coming across a lot of things that require heavy stuff. And I guess the only place to go is this way. You know what? I just realized that the song here has got elements of the pirate ship from Wind Waker. I'll wait for it to come around again. I'll point it out. Oh, there you are.
The Wind Waker spot's gonna come in a second. You'll hear it. Amen. It's coming. Ooh, I grabbed See you. Double gate, huh? There it is. I know that song anywhere. All right, so um, what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> Wind Waker pirate ship team. What is the deal? We found one eye switch, but that only opened one gate. So how do we open the other one? weird sneaky suspicion that there's something else in there oh that's a um can't see through that oh okay i was like oh that's uh like a curtain all right oh great oh what <laughs> i was gonna whip out my shield too but i was not quick enough so now we're knocked down here i got an arrow sticking to my side ow <laughs> that's gotta hurt hmm So this way. Take two. Circle around again. Wait, no, over here. I was gonna whip out my shield and block those arrows, but I was just a little bit too late. I got bonked off the edge. All right. Oh, what? Well, you can't block them? That's bogus. Unless it just hit my head. Got a key though. That's gotta count for something. Um. Back in the main room here, I think we climbed to the top and there was a key door, right? There. Yeah. Over this way. And then up the uh, the ropes. There was a key door. So, skip. I wonder what this is up here. I feel like this is going to be our item. I feel like we're about due for an item. And they give you hearts, so that means we're going to fight something. Probably should save it. Just in case bad things happen. I hear something. Oh. Oh, there's a slight breeze pushing me uh, down the side of the boat. Okay. That's interesting. We're on the outside now, which is pretty cool. We can see the whole thing. Uh, Rupee. You know I have to go get that. Carefully, of course. Oh, you sneak. Ah! Wow. I don't know what that laugh was. That's kind of weird. That's a big door, though. I feel like that might be the boss, maybe? 
Wow, what a way to shoot me in the back, literally. Yo, he's so quick. Turn around, he's all of a sudden there, like, yo. Go away. Maybe, uh, climb the main mast? It's a long climb. Oh, there's a cannonball there. We can get rid of the, uh, stall children. This is a long ladder. This might be the longest ladder in a Ocarina of Time game that I've seen. Is there a longer ladder? Not the one in Kakariko. That's not nearly as long. I wonder what's the top. Watch well, should be nothing. Oh, a piece of heart. Okay. Collected two so far. Nice. Glad I climbed. All right. So what can we uh, look at from up here? I'm not sure. Oof. That's a. Uh... Oh, we can jump onto the web. All right. Eat. Boing. Whoa. Okay. That was fun. Camera. Wait a minute. So we got. Uh... We can dive down here. What happens if we do? What's this? I kind of want to go this way before I climb the uh, ropes. Hmm? Anybody? Anybody here? Don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or not, but I'll find out, I guess. Oh, this is dark. I hear a torch. I hear purple spooters. Wait, where are we now? Oh. Aha! Ah. What is this? Another piece of heart. Alright, I'll take it. Sure, why not? Alright, now we're in here. A uh, sign and a silver rupee. Oh, this is the other side of the uh, silver rupee room back before, from before. So I guess this was just a little uh, secret room that we could get a piece of heart from. Alright. And a uh, Scardita too. Sweet. Alright, I guess we'll go back this way and then climb the ropes from where we fell. Oh, no, no, no. My heart just blew up. <laughs> God, that is not cool. Wow, that was that was worse than the first one I came across because I <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh my gosh! I mean, the first one that I came across was terrifying enough. Don't get me wrong, but that was just ridiculous because I did not expect to come across that going back in the dark, out of nowhere. Developer, you know how to make a jump scare. Shoo. Okay, now that uh, I can breathe again, um, I guess we'll go this way. Ah. So we're kind of back in rooms that we were in before now, though. So what are we supposed to do? We still don't have any means of breaking down some of the other stuff. We don't have any keys. Um, hmm. I'm kind of confused a little bit. Maybe we shouldn't have jumped down there quite yet. Maybe there was more up on the, uh, the deck. I'm not sure. We blew down that wall. That door's still closed. Hmm. Um, I guess let's go back up to the mast again and see um, if there's anything. We went this way, right? Yeah, there was a Scardita back there. Okay. Let's um, double check the deck because I feel like it might not have been done up there yet. 
jumped prematurely. I really thought that large chest in the kind of secret area with the scary redead would have been like an item or something. But guess not. So yeah, let's kill these redeads out here. See if it gives us anything. Need a cannonball. Yo. Yo. Can you let me grab the cannonball? Give me a second. Give me a second. Take that. Ah. I knew there had to be something more up here. Uh-huh. And another large chest. I'll bet that's going to be our item. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't have jumped from the mast quite so quick. Nice lot of rupees, though. Was the chest over here, or was it? No, it's right here. I wonder what this could be. I doubt it's going to be another piece of heart, so let's find out. The Rusted Anchor. Tap C for a powerful ground slam attack. Hold C to spin it above your head and throw it. Yo. Kind of similar idea to the um, ball and chain from Twilight Princess. That opened that door too. So let's... Um, rusted Anchor. Yo. That's pretty sick. Wow. That's really awesome. It's a giant anchor swinging around. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Now we can easily take care of these uh, stall kid things. Little skittering selves. So wait a minute. Um, we have a cannon. Do we have to use that somehow? Yo. Oh, I can't go over there. That. Sounds like another one. Oh, hello. In. Can't get closer. Can I throw this at him? No. What about um, cannon? I feel like that has a play part to play somehow. Shoot him. Aha! Um, then maybe this? Okay. Oh boy. Ah! I'm hurting a little bit, actually. Oh. Guess we'll uh, light him up again. Fire! Go all Pirates of the Caribbean on you. Wind her up, and let her go. And smash. All right. Uh oh. Go away. And then ready. Aim. And fire! And hoya! And smash! Nice! <laughs> I'm spinning around. That's a cool little fight, actually, not gonna lie. A little worse for wear, but uh, we did it. And this is the boss key, probably. Most likely. Chances are. A percentage. Yo, the skeleton key. This key once belonged to the pirate Captain Garland and can open every lock on the ship. Yo, so infinite keys. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so now, now we can probably fully do the silver rupee room that we were in before. Sploosh. Ooh, what? How did I take fall damage? I have a half heart left. That's not good. 
should probably save it in case uh, something unfortunate happens. But well, we do have milk, though. Um, Jabu milk. Master of time. I see you. Does this help us at all? Okay. A little bit. That'll work for now. Just to make us not on the brink of death. I'm very glad they removed the beeping, though. We didn't have to deal with the beeping. All right, so back in here. No. Or wait, was that right or no? no this is where we want to be because we can get all the rupees now. Because I'll bet that we can break that debris blocking the door down below. So one. Two's in the crate. Three with the arrows. Ow. I got an arrow sticking out of my uh, leg now. Four. And then I'll bet we can break this now. Yeah. Nice. Aha. What's the sign say? Wait, turned around. Danger, keep out. That, that moron Pete left a window open, and now this room is infested with bloodthirst, bloodthirsty bats. Anyone seen leaving windows open will be joining him at the bottom of the sea. You all know how much I hate bats. Whatever treasure he had stashed away, it isn't worth it. Captain Garland. Oh. A locked chest. That's a new mechanic. With an indigo rupee. 50 rupees. Not too shabby. What about these doors? We have infinite keys now, so... Oh, snap. I see you there. I feel like that's going to hurt me when I'm least expecting it. What's in all these? Oh, rupees. Oh, you. Worth it though. Oh, 10 rupees. You can't hit me. Nice. Load us up with money. I mean, whatever works. All right. That was that room. What about Isa one? This is the one that said keep out, right? Because the window open. Oh, snap. That's a lot of bats. But you know what? I'll take the hearts. What? Bat just clipped through the wall. Oh, hello. 17. I kind of wanted to kill all the bats, but they clipped through the wall. Let me try it again, see if I can go out and go back in and spawn all the bats back. Hello? Take that. Oh, something does happen. I'm glad I went back in and uh, killed them all. Another large chest, huh? Okay. You can, now you can pick up many deco sticks. You can carry up to 20 of them. All right, so a deco stick expansion. Not what I expected to find, but welcome nonetheless. Though I don't know how much more we're gonna need those deco sticks, but whatever works. Let's check out the other rooms. Oh, snap. That's the wrong button. What happens if we throw this at him? Yo! Wow, okay. <laughs> Not really sure what happened there, but I got him. You got a bundle of arrows. This is treacherous. Oh. Yo! <laughs> that was a uh, that was pretty insane. All right, so there's a uh, there's a trap there. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting that. Another indigo rupee. These locked chests are interesting. And more money. We can definitely buy the Zora tunic if we wanted to now. Is it going to do it again? Or only one time? Eh. Terrified. So many little things in here that just kind of take you off guard. I like it. 
you never know what to expect, you know? All right, what's in here? Torch shenanigans, I see. Maybe that's why they gave us more Deku sticks. We could use some hearts, actually. Oh, thank you. You heard me. Okay, what are we gonna have to deal with here? You're not really thinking about jumping across, are you? Those planks have slippery moss on them. You're going to fall. Unless you've got some fancy acrobatic skills I don't know about, I guess. Just be careful, okay, soul? Hmm. Okay. Oh! They're slippery. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, we got a heart back at least. Okay. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, especially since um, probably have to come back with a torch. Oh, so we can't jump at all, can we? Or are we just not building enough enough speed? It's not taking hearts off me when I fall, though, which is pretty nice. All right, so. Nope, can't jump. Um, okay, so we can't get across there right now. I had a sneaky suspicion that we need like Rock's Feather or something like that from like part one or chapter one of the demo. Do we find that here? Where else can we go? We have infinite keys. But what can we do with that? I really don't know. And our anchor, too. Um, that's the entrance. That door is a one way door. Okay. There's also a chest there, too, that we haven't opened. We had to burn it, but how? Because both these doors won't allow for a Deku stick to get through them. Okay. Uh, that door's still closed, too. This is a mystery! Just that with a key there. Um, no. We got an arrow stuck at me again. Alright, we're drawing a blank here. Is there anything back this way? Ow. That led to the underside of the ship with the weird, mysterious, invisible thing yanking you under the water. This was the silver rupee room, which we did already. There's gotta be something, something else here. Like, how do we get across those gaps? just no way. Um. Oh, that doesn't even do anything. So can I swing across them or something? There is no way that I'm making it across there. All right, folks, what am I missing? We got an anchor and we got infinite keys. Gotta be something we can do with that, right? We did the open windows room.
Nothing else in here. These were all just money and nothing else except trap arrows. This was money as well, wasn't it? Yeah, on the other side of the uh, other side of there with the weird trap that knocked me in the hole. That was pleasant. So what are we missing? It's gotta be something. And that door is where I'm stuck at. What gives? Go away. This is where you jump from the mast. Cannonball. Locked door. Now we're lagging again, of course. Was there something else up here too that um, I missed, but I don't think so. Large chest, we climb the mast. We open this door. That was the um, boss. It will give us the skeleton key. We got all that already. Mast, we jumped off to break the spider web. There wasn't anything else on this side. So down the hole we went. Ow. Unless there was uh, more in the secret underwater area that I missed. Was there anything? Just uh, a narrow hallway where the spooky redead jumped out at me. that chest and the other side of that room. Ugh. Doesn't do anything. Is the redead gonna come out of me going back? Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, I was ready for it that time though. It's still, it's still scary though. It moves so quick. Can't break those barrels or anything. Oh, you know what? I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Hold on. Hold the phone. I think I understand now. But of course it comes to me after I've already been out of the room for like 20 minutes. Bear with me, guys. Sometimes things don't come to me right away. I think I understand. Did a backflip across these? I'll bet we do. Uh oh, I think that's what we have to do. 
This is gonna be great. <laughs> Going backwards across these. All right. So let's jump this one for normally, and then there it is. All right. So <laughs> we're gonna have to time these jumps right, and then get back across with a torch. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be. It's gonna be hard. All right, but we can do it though. We've done worse, right? We've done worse. Oh, okay. Those are the crazy acrobatics that uh, Tail was talking about, I guess, huh? Now we gotta do it going back. Joy. All right, so let's jump this one normally and then backflip. We're here, 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 here. Oh, thank goodness. I actually can't believe we got it first try. Well, not technically first try, but... First run of going over there and then back. All right, one, two, three, and four. Sheesh. All right, now what's this? Excuse me. You can carry many Deku nuts. Hold up to 30. Okay. Um. So now what? <laughs> I feel like there's nothing else to do here. What did we even come in here to do in the first place? <laughs> I forget. Um. Now what? We have the anchor. Um, what happens if we leave? Well, that's down that way. But there's still a um. Ah. There's still this little circular thing here, so there's got to be more. What else is there, though? I feel like I've explored everything. I'm so confused. <laughs> so I am a complete idiot and just didn't go through that door. <laughs> That opened with the rupees, apparently, and I missed that entirely because I went down the um, other pathway. What's this, the boss? Demo, sorry, bad news. I don't want to spoil the new boss in this demo. It's being saved for the final release. Ah, sorry, but I know that's disappointing, but bosses are a lot of work and it is worth the wait, I think. The chest to your right will give you Garland Sigil. Pretend you earned it from fighting an epic skeleton, skeleton boss. Leaving through this boss door will take you back to the shipyard. Please forgive me. Uh, all right, that's fine. I mean, I don't want to spoil everything in the demo. I mean, there's tons of content already just in this demo alone, which is pretty awesome. Garland Sigil. Fierce Pirate Queen's power surges through with its design. You can feel its strength. And what about this one? It said what the, it said what the right hand chest was, but not this one. Eh? Ah, defense heart. All right. So leaving through this door will take me back to the shipyard. Okay. Yeah, I've completely missed the fact that that door opened with the rupees because I went down the slope where the arrow shot me to break the wall and then totally forgot about that door. Uh, spent way too much time wandering around for something as simple as that. But it's okay. Uh, I wonder how much more can we even do in this. Um, so we're supposed to go over there for the ship. What happens if we go talk to um, Garland now that we have the sigil? I love this music. Of course, the sun's gonna go down, it's gonna stop. Yeah. I think Lina City was over this way, right? So I have two of the three sigils. It's pretty cool. 18 Scarditas. So let's make our way back towards Lina, Lina City. 
think it was this way, right? Yeah. Let's see if Garland has anything. Uh, anything else to say? Wait, is this what's this right away to Luna City? Wait, no, this is the. Uh, I have become the stupid yet again. The Linus City was back where I just was. Brain fart. Don't want to go that way. Ah. That's the digging place that we still can't do because we don't have a shovel or something like that. Stop lagging. Back to Luna. Okay. Skirt. So we can go see Garland and might as well purchase his aura tunic so we have everything, right? She might not say anything different. Just checking her. I can't believe it. You found it. I'm surprised. I truly didn't believe you had it in you. My power flows through that sigil. Even now, I can feel its strength has not diminished after all this time. I'll permit you to keep it for now. You aren't done. Go to Agatha, Agatha Village. Find Kalak's sigil. Go and talk to Marty. He may be able to help you. Shall I tell you about the sigils? I already asked about that. So, Marty. That's the, uh, that's the bomb guy, right? Maybe we can start buying some of his other stuff now that we uh, have her sigil. Alright, so she said to go to talk to Marty. We gotta go back to the future, Marty. 1985. I love those movies. Alright, Marty. What's going on? This is Marty, right? Welcome to Marty's shop. I'm Marty. You can't buy anything without a permit, but feel free to stop going. My name is Marty. I've been running the shop for years. Buy something or don't. It's your life. Wait, can we buy some of this stuff now? Can't get this now. Can't get this now. And we can't get that now. Okay. What about bomb shoes? Remote bomb shoes. Sure. Okay, so now we bomb shoes. I'm not really sure. What else Marty was gonna do for us? Because, you know, she said Marty could help you out. But he didn't do anything different. It's fine though. Let's go to the armor dude again and buy Zora tunic. Just because we can. Good to see you again. Any luck finding the and Smithy? I know, I know. Foolish of me to get. I hope so. Someday. So we can't buy that because it's fifteen hundred rupees. Mirror shield, fifteen hundred rupees. Although, unless, can you get enough rupees? Like, I don't know how many rupees you can carry. Um, sword tuning, sure. Just because you can. All right, so we have to go to that Igatha place, but our time is a little up there because we took a long time in that dungeon. So I think we're gonna do that next episode. And we got our blue on, nice. So as always, if you liked the episode, make sure you drop a comment, tell me what you think and like the video and subscribe if you wanna see the rest of it, including Tears of the Kingdom playthroughs on Saturdays and Super Mario RPG, which we're also working on. So as always, until then, take care.